We'll see you shortly. Thank you, Dennis. We're continuing to spotlight a Tampa construction project that hundreds of people say is beyond frustrating. And tonight we're focusing on two major roads. The project will soon close. A portion of Central Avenue here will close next Wednesday, and then a portion of Nebraska Avenue will close in just weeks. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills is taking a look at what those closures could mean. Well, to say the people I talked to are worried about this would be an understatement. In fact, one business owner I talked to was moved to tears as she thought about what all of this will mean for her business. At Valhalla Resale in Seminole Heights, a hopeless feeling is setting in. Yeah, when you know there's nothing you can do. Danielle Ferrari owns this unique boutique, but in some ways it owns her. Every penny <laughs> that I've ever made has gone into this. Now she fears her investment is in jeopardy. As the city of Tampa upgrades stormwater pipes in the neighborhood, in just days, its contractor will close a portion of Central Avenue north of Hillsborough Avenue for more than a year. And soon the span of Nebraska Avenue will also close. Even though the crew says the roads will remain open to people going to homes or businesses. This is uh, Hannah and Central. Ferrari knows she'll feel a hit because the project has already caused headaches on streets like Florida Avenue and Caracas Street. It's really shocking to me. That kind of work is acceptable to the city. The city says it is trying to do better after countless complaints about the messy, disruptive work. And we're all committed to doing better than what we've been doing. And that's her promise. Pastor Tiffania Ikasa Willits hopes the city will keep. Here on Central Avenue, she's most worried about how the parents of 120 kids will be able to access her church's daycare through the construction zone. We feel like we're completely in the dark. On Nebraska Avenue, Uzi Ramirez is also unsure about what the upcoming work will mean for his restaurant, Extreme Tacos. Well, it's, it's scary to think about it. What he does know is that his business and others like Valhalla will need their customers support now more than ever before. And that's really the only thing that can get us through it is our support of our community and our members. To see more of the project's timelines, you can head to our website, abcactionnews.com. In Seminole Heights, Chad Mills, ABC Action News. And if you have a driving Tampa Bay forward story idea or a tip, you can call us at 813-354-2837 or email us at driving at wfts.com.